Am I doing a story time on how I started this cup thing or am I doing facts? I think facts. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's do a little bit of a get to know me and a cup haul. I'm so excited to finally bring like my cups to YouTube. People have been asking me for a cup haul for so long. So let's get right into it. I wanted to make sure that I filmed the intro after I got ready because because I looked a little crazy before. You might have been a little scared off if you saw the before before the after. You know? So I'll be unready in this next clip. Okay, hopefully this isn't a jump scare going from the last scene to this one. But let's get into this cup haul slash getting to know me. I am only going to be showing you guys cups that I have already used, so this is not all of my cups, not even close. And I was going through my TikTok story time videos and like seeing what cups I had and like writing it down in my notes app to make sure that I grabbed them all. And I was like, no, this is actually insane that I have this many cups. My name is Kyra Mari Henry. My maiden name is Moore. So the first cup I wanted to show you guys, I have to get a new one because it broke. So that was a mixing glass. That was like the very first story time video that I did with a cup and I absolutely love it. And this was before I was like intentionally doing story times with cups. It just was something I did in that one video. And people absolutely love the cup and I'm like, I have so many weird cups already and I always want an excuse to get a new cup. So. That's really where that started. And this is my upside down um, wine glass. Pour the drink in up here, sit from the top. Love this one. And pretty much my husband started this whole vanity thing. I feel like that one sound where it was like, I pretty much started this entire family because that's literally what he did. Pretty much I had made videos, content for a while. And I was like, I just feel like I don't show myself enough like since having kids and like the beauty side of me because people are always asking me like, what makeup are you wearing? What's your lip shade? Like all these different questions. And I'm like, I don't have like a dedicated space to really show people what I want to show them. And I feel like I did so much lifestyle and I love lifestyle. I never completely want to go away from that. But I'm like, I also have so much beauty, fashion, like hair, different stuff like that, that I also want to show. And people always ask me. So anyway, I was born in Michigan and I currently live in Texas. It has like caffeine in it. So pretty much for Valentine's Day, my husband surprised me with a vanity. I had it all set up and he even set it up like in front of the natural light that we have in our room. So he like rearranged the room a little bit and set up the vanity. And I think that I started like my story time cup series on TikTok on the 23rd of February. And he set this up on Valentine's Day, February 14th. So I wasted no time. And honestly, I was like, I don't care if people don't want to see me at all. They don't want to hear me talk. I'm gonna talk because I love to do like little story time videos. And like I said, I just so happened to have a cup one time and it just stuck and I was like, you know what? I have a lot of cups. You guys like cups? I like cups. Yeah. And people literally came up with the craziest names for this cup series. Like they were all for it. They were like Kyra's Crazy Cups, Crazy Cup Convos with Kyra, Spilling the Tea with Kyra's Crazy Cups. I when I tell you, I was baffled. So it was just super nice having something that people like love to see from me. And also they were super interested in the cups like outside of me. They just wanted the cups, which that is fine. I don't know, am I doing a story time on how I started this cup thing or am I doing facts? I think facts. Anyway, I have three kids. I have two boys and a little girl. My husband and I got engaged shortly after I turned 21. And then we got married less than two months later. Oh, let me show you guys a cup. This is my shoe cup. And along with the shoe, a boot. What was I saying? My birthday is September 22nd, 1999. I am a first generation college student. I went to Western Michigan University. Um, I'm super thankful to have went to college and to have been able to finish, especially considering I got pregnant during my second year in college. Where is my concealer? Ah, I make such a mess of this vanity, oh my gosh. I actually have some clips, let me put them in some clips. Ouch. Oh, here we go. Sometimes I feel like when you put like no effort into it is when it ends up working. I hope it doesn't mess up my curls though. This side looks a little <laughs> cuter than this one. Okay, this needs to be blended. So I am 24 years old. I am definitely like a perfectionist. I was literally this whole time trying to find my concealer and I took that many routes just to get back to trying to find my concealer. I got this NARS concealer and I've been loving it. I had CoverGirl for like up until <laughs> like a month ago. Anyway, I feel like I'm a perfectionist and I also feel like I am very ambitious and so like I can definitely get really caught up in like just trying to do more all the time. So I feel like I'm working on just being content and not always pushing myself to do more. Okay, let's do another cup. This is a fun one. 
and I actually had this before I started doing the cup series I just was waiting for it the best time to pull it out didn't know how it was ever gonna come in handy mm, some more random facts um in high school i did cheer and i also did softball i started working in high school when i was 14 like as soon as i could legally work i worked i did a whole story time video on all the different places that i worked at different ages on my tiktok i probably will do a story time on here because that one was like very very quick because you know how short tiktok can be i definitely love tiktok and instagram that's where i'm most active but I always have had like a big love for YouTube and even like when I'm in the car or and if the kids aren't here and I'm like cleaning or you know just getting things done I always put on like the YouTubers that I love and every time I put on YouTube I'm like oh my gosh I need to like get back into YouTube I just feel like you get to know someone on like a deeper level when it's on YouTube and it's long form I feel like sometimes you can just like judge so quickly off of short form content i don't know like just like a genuine connection and i also love to talk a lot about the things i'm passionate about so when i'm cutting down videos for tiktok it will literally be like 25 minutes and i get it into like two minutes and whenever i start editing i'm just like looking at how long it is like um how are we gonna get this into a minute and 30 seconds so anyway people kept asking me for a cup haul i was like you know what this would be perfect for youtube and i can talk to you guys some more and i'm so thankful my husband got me this vanity because I actually did story time videos in our last house and I'd be doing like random like beauty things with it. Then when I moved to this house, I kind of like completely fell out of it just because again, like I didn't have a dedicated space for it. I was always at his side of the sink and that was fine with him, but he was like, you literally always use my side of the sink and my stuff would just be all over his side. And it's also cool because people are like, oh, I followed you for so long, but I feel like I'm truly starting to get to see your personality now. That has been like super nice. And I think that's been like the best part for me. People who have, oh, Oh, look at these eyelashes. I have lashes everywhere. But you know, people who have been my community, supporting me for years, followed me for years, and they're just now starting to feel like they truly, truly get to know me. And you know, getting all these story times, all of these moments that they're like, what? I never knew that. So it's definitely cool to, you know, be doing all of that. And the story time that I always tell that people are always interested in. Also, like another fact is that I found out I was pregnant in my second year of college. And when I found out I was pregnant, I went to the ultrasound I was already almost 18 weeks so that's like halfway through your pregnancy so that was like the first story time that I told and people just always love to hear that story I think now I'm officially done telling that story but people always ask I feel like I do like the same makeup routine but it's just because I'm so like comfortable with what I do so it's just a continuous work in progress and you guys are gonna see that but I'm just learning and improving as I go back to the random facts and cups um this is a goose cup pour it like that and it comes out of the mouth my camera got a little bit overheated, so hopefully it's better now. Putting a little setting powder on. I actually need to get like a new one. I've had this one literally forever since I first started wearing it, which was years ago. Now I'm trying to hurry because now I'm realizing like I'm probably talking for way too long. You know those people who are like, oh my gosh, some people have a Spongebob reference for everything. That's me. Um, That's another very random but important fact about me. Like I speak Spongebob. Call me childish, call me what you want. I can't change it. I literally cannot change it. Another fun fact about me, my friend and I sing everything. Like, we could be saying the most random thing. We're gonna sing it. I realized I need to get to showing. Um, my book cup. Debatable if this is a book or a vase. If this is a cup or a vase. Regardless, I drink out of it, so it's a cup. My camera lens. I have been having way too much fun on TikTok telling stories, different themes. Or, like, I was going to get ready for a news interview and I had a camera lens mug like Come on. I mean, it just makes sense. So, and it's funny because with so many different opportunities and situations, it's a very last minute. Especially that interview, it literally was like a same day thing. And I just had the cup on standby. Like, so I've just been ordering cups and waiting for the perfect moment to use them. So I will not be showing you guys too many because I don't want to ruin it. Then we have this puffer fish cup. Um, my husband is obsessed with fish. I guess so that leads into another fun fact about our family is my husband's obsessed with fish. I also have a small one, um, a small fish mug cup. So I'm going to put that in here, but... Yeah, he's obsessed with fish. We literally have like five fish tanks, mainly in the garage. One is in his office, but the kids love it. It's just like an aquarium here. <laughs> um, this is a rose wine glass. I have a pink and green one. My friend actually sent it to me. I have to wash the other one because my husband actually broke the other one last night. 
which she literally texted me and said they're very fragile and they are but i love it so much and it's just so sweet because i had posted on my close friends on instagram i was like oh my gosh i'm literally drinking wine out of a mason jar because i've been pregnant for so long i feel like i have no wine glasses i must have like broke them all you know or something this was literally like months ago so this is just a random story. So then the next day I get a package to the door and it's from her and it's these beautiful wine glasses. I wish I had them. These beautiful wine glasses and they look like typical size, but they are just like, they hold so much. They literally <laughs> hold so much. And yes, I have tested that theory out. They are literally gigantic. I love them. So she sent me those and those were like the only wine glasses I had for a while. And then as soon as I started doing this cup series, she sent them just to send them, I think. I don't even know if she realized like the cup series was a thing when she sent them, but she sent them and it was perfect timing. And I'm like, either she noticed I was doing the cup thing right away or she was just being nice. But regardless, I'm like, it's just so sweet. I literally love her so much and love um, my friends. They're always like thinking of like little things like that and little things make me so happy. So all that to say, here's my rose glass. <laughs> okay, so I did most of these. Now what do I have to do? Um, I forgot to put this on, but I got this from Milk Makeup. Oh my gosh, I love anything that's foaming for your face, like foaming skincare, foaming, is primer considered skincare? I don't know. Um, I use this as like it's a primer and oh my gosh, it's so good. Like I said, I forgot it, but the best. I don't know why I'm obsessed with foaming things, but my makeup looks so dusty. Um, I used to use this a lot, but lately I've been using this um, setting spray. I'm not even using this right now. So why am I showing you? Couldn't tell you. Ah, I'm getting a little frantic. I don't know why I'm getting frantic. I really have time. I did my eyebrows before I started recording because if not, you would have been like, who was that troll? Um, but I mainly use this NYX um, brow glue, but it's in the shade black. So I used to always use the clear one, but the clear one would get like a little bit of residue for me, like not a ton. I still use it all the time, just a tiny bit of residue. So with the black one, it just didn't leave residue. Okay, what am I doing? And then my lashes right now are these um, Kiss Press-On like falsy um, individuals almost, like the little clusters. And they're the easiest things ever to put on. Put them on with this tool. So I put a little bit of mascara on first and then I just like press them around. And when I tell you, I used to struggle with my lashes so bad, like them things would be flying off. <sighs> I literally cannot find my lip pencil. I have this little like, I don't know if it's like an octopus or a squid glass, but that's what I, in my mind, what it looks like. So this is like my octopus squid glass, I don't know. This is my purse cup that actually leads into my next fact. I have a purse business called TLK Lifestyle and that's like another baby to me. I literally love it so much. Um, I started that in 20... 21. Here's my half wine glass. This is a fairly new one. I love it. You know when I just need like half a glass at night? Here is my gigantic cup. And then I also have like the mini version of that. It's the same exact one. I literally feel like I have nothing right now. Okay, I found my lip pencil. So this is from MAC Cosmetics. I'm gonna leave the links to everything, of course, especially all of the cups. And this is from Fenty Beauty. And I absolutely love these candy glaze glosses. This is not the shade that I typically use or else I would use it, but 10 out of 10. And then one of my last facts is that I am left-handed and I don't know why, but I just feel like that's a very big and important fact about me for whatever reason, couldn't tell you. And the last important, like, I don't know if you could even say a fact, but one of my really big goals is to have a ton of land, have farm animals, have a family compound, have all my family living there. And that's just what I would love. So in the future, if you see me on a farm, <laughs> in the future when you see my husband and I having our kids and having like tons of animals and our family living right there with us, that's like literally my biggest goal. Those are all the cups that I have currently used. I have a ton more coming. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So I'm just gonna leave it at those cups. So glad that you guys are here for me and my cups and the story times and all of it. And let me know which cup is your favorite.